All right. Welcome, everybody, to episode two of uh, Uncovering Success with our Take Control team. Um, today uh, is July 30th, actually, 2017, and I'm very honored to introduce to everyone today um, my second, uh, my other brother. <laughs> I have three brothers, and uh, last week I introduced our Triple Diamond leader, Mike King, who introduced Doug and I to Valentis. And today I have the honor of introducing my brother, Neil King, who uh, was also introduced by Mike. Uh, Neil, uh, you have a lot to uh, share with everybody today. So the first question I'm going to ask you, like I asked Mike last week, was uh, who is Mike? Who is Neil King? Uh, Mike gave us a little bit of a background about where he came from. Um, so can you just share with everybody today who is Neil King? Uh, so we kind of get to know who this Neil King guy is. Hi, Kath. You hear me okay? No, you hear you great. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Uh, thanks for the introduction. Uh, so who is Neil King? Uh, we'll go right back. Uh, you know, like you said, you might gave you a bit of history where he came from. And uh, I basically came from the same place Mike did. Uh, I was a few years earlier. I was born in 1960. Uh, on Christmas Day, and uh, we were born, we were raised on a farm southeast of Vermilion, and it was a, it's a farming community, and so that was our life. Uh, farm kids went through the 4-H, went through uh, all the sports. You know, the, my brothers were more into the sports than I was. I was kind of a rebel and uh, did my own thing because um, I thought I knew it all, and. Uh, you know, went on, uh, got involved in the farming in 1983 with my uncle and my dad and uh, proceeded to do that for uh, up until 1999. But, you know, throughout the years, I got into the welding industry in 1981 and got my journeyman welding ticket and moved kind of right into the oil patch, um, you know, building heavy oil storage tanks uh, and farming on the side. and doing a little bit of truck driving in here and there. And as time went on, uh, we just kind of got, I got caught up in the rut of life. Um, you know, we were just spinning our circles, uh, spinning in a circle and, you know, paycheck to paycheck. Uh, and then uh, met a girl, got married in 1992 raised our family. And again, it was like living from paycheck to paycheck. So, you know, I was spinning my circles and we were looking for something and uh, we weren't sure what, didn't know where to look. And uh, in uh, 1999, when we moved off the farm, I went into the tank manufacturing full time. Um, and, you know, I'm still in that industry today. So, Neil, um, so that kind of brings us to my next question. Um, as everybody knows, uh, we are, uh, we have been introduced to an amazing opportunity, uh, with a company called Valentis. And so, uh, Neil, I, 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 we kind of shared last, uh, week a little bit of why us, but why Valentis for you and Tammy, Neil? Why Valentis? Boy, I'll tell you, um, when Mike phoned me that day in March of 19... 2015 and uh, said I got to come and talk to you about something and he did uh, I said come on out he talked to me and he really didn't tell me a whole bunch about it he just asked me what I knew about network marketing industry and so when you say why Valentis I asked myself and I asked Mike that why Valentis like what the heck is Valentis and and uh, I uh, you know I told him I said I am not interested I basically put a band-aid on my life and said that I love my job and and uh, said I'm not interested uh, and uh, he went on his way I said some people do well some people fail whatever it is and he got into involved and started doing it really well and then you know we started thinking about it but when Mike first approached me uh, I wasn't thinking products I wasn't really thinking at all until later on that summer uh, when we were together and you know Kathy you and Doug had gotten involved by that time and 
and uh, we could see changes in you guys. And it was uh, later on that summer when my wife Tammy said, you know what, maybe we should take a better look at Valentis. And, and even at that time, I still didn't know why Valentis. And, but I, I supported Tammy because she, you know, uh, wanted to get involved. And so we did in 15. By the end of that month, in, in September of 2015, after being on the products for two weeks, I had already started to see changes in my physical appearance and felt better. Um, had an opportunity to go to the first ever leadership summit in Kelowna in October of 2015, along with yourself and Mike and, and you know all the other leaders, Dave Jordan and everybody. And after that weekend, when you asked me the question, why Valentis? That's when the bell rang. Um, I knew that the products worked because I was seeing results, Tammy was seeing results. And I also, after meeting everybody, I knew, I know now why they talk about the heart of the company. And so when you say why Valentis, it's because we have something that can help us along with so many other people. And I wouldn't want to be in any better place right now. The support is unbelievable. It's a community of like-minded people uh, why would we not want to be anywhere else? Awesome. Thanks, Neil. Uh, one thing I was talking about last week when we were uh, talking with Mike was uh, when Doug and I first got involved, we had to pick a username. And like I said last week, our username that we chose was Take Control. And we didn't realize the impact that it was going to have on, on so many people in our Take Control team as, as it has. And so, you know, part of our uncovering success, we are going to uncover leader after leader for everybody to see what's happened here. And so, um, you know, for us, we needed to take control of the fact that we were um, coming up 55 years old and we really didn't have a retirement plan. For us, we had health to take control of, obviously. But for us, I think our biggest why was that we were uh, heading into retirement without a plan um, to take control and have a great retirement. So my next question to you, Neil, is um, what does take control mean to you and Tammy? And, and what are you guys, what are you here, what is Valentis here helping you guys take control of? Okay, so that, that take control, that username take control, it's, I don't know, it's an absolutely awesome username. And, and it's an awesome name for our community of Valentis because we are taking control of our lives however that might be whether it be health uh, just you know financial we're taking control of our lives again and you know when we're out sharing this opportunity with people it's like how would you like the opportunity to take control of your life and it's just fitting so fitting um, we picked you get slim as our username for ourselves um, because you can get slim and but but our um, I'm kind of in the same um, I got I kind of got the same reasons where I'm in the oil patch my whole career and I needed to take control of something because I was losing control or had lost control um, you know I'm 57 and when Valentis was um, when I had the opportunity to take a look at Valentis I was out of control I didn't know where I was going, you know, and I always had a goal or a so-called goal uh, set where 62 years old, I'm going to be out of that industry because you can only take that so long before you have to get out of it. It's a young man's job and, but I had no pension. And so, you know, we, Tammy and I said, we're done at 62, but you know, what scared the living bejesus out of me is the fact that we could say that we're going to retire at 62 all we wanted, but then when you start drawing stuff down on paper and writing numbers down, reality set in, and there was no way that we were going to be able to retire and enjoy our retirement because we would have had to skimp and save to survive in our retirement. And is that any way to retire? Um, to be able to sit at home and say we can't afford to go on a holiday right now because we got to pay our power bill at the end of the month or, you know, um, just, I, I just, it scared me. And so now 
I see the opportunity here where we are creating a residual income. And, you know, I was just talking about that with somebody this morning, a family member to be exact or to be. And he, we talked about that and I'm creating a pension of our own through the residual income that can come with Valentis. And, you know, another thing is I feel great. I'm 57 years old in, at Christmas this year, and I really feel like I'm 37. And we just spent three days at the Vermilion Fair here sharing our opportunity and our wellness products with hundreds of people. People say, where do you get your energy? And I said, just add water. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah. Great. Well, you know, Neil, I think one thing that now um, I think we need to really make people understand is we've helped ourselves. And now for, for now, the next question I have for you is what obsession do you have now that you have become a leader and a diamond? And I forgot to say that at the beginning, Neil and Tammy are diamond leaders with Valentis now, and we are in a leadership uh, position to help a lot of people. And I just want to say my my big obsession, I think, that we need to help people with is to understand that uh, network marketing is an amazing industry to help a lot of people. And sometimes people have the misconception that it is some kind of weird pyramid thing. And I'm going to say, yeah, there's been people hurt in the industry. And Dave Jordan is here to make sure people don't get hurt again. And it is my obligation to everybody um, to help them know that Volantis is not like that. We are the 21st century network marketing company that has got a product line that is helping people. But we have a system where you said the heart uh, of this company uh, is so great that we are, we really do care. And we really have something that's going to help a lot of people. So my obsession, Neil, is exactly that, is to uh, make people kind of open their mind to knowing that this one's not going to hurt them. So for you, what is your obsession? What are you obsessed with as a leader now in our, in our Take Control team to uh, help people with? Hmm. It's, you know, when you talk about that obsession and, and I just think about what I've been doing here this past weekend and, and the message that Dave and Joyce Jordan uh, send to us is just what you said, was he wants to make the industry right again. And it has become our passion, you might say, uh, to help people. I absolutely get a high off of being able to help somebody and to share our story and the industry that we're involved in now. I am so proud, absolutely proud to be a network marketer because this is a people helping people business. And and it, and it is an awesome industry to be in, <clears throat> but like I've told people this past weekend, and, it, and you know, it's, it, I never got bombarded with, oh, it's just another one of those pyramid schemes, or it's just another scam, because it's how you approach people that you can get your message across. And because we are so passionate about what we do, people see that. And they see that we're involved in this industry, and and it and they and we build a trust when we're talking to people, and it's how you go about it. And you know, and I'm honest with people. Network marketing probably gets its bad name through the simple fact that in the past history has really people have thought, okay, well, I'm going to get in this network marketing company because I'm going to get rich real quick. And they soon realize that that's not the case and they blame the industry that they didn't get rich and so they quit. And then they peg it as a scam or a pyramid scheme or whatever they might be. I'm open and honest with people and I say, if you take a serious look at network marketing, there's one thing you need to realize that it is a business decision that you're making and it's a business like anything else. It's just a different industry and it's an awesome industry that you can help so many people get what you get and, and you know, whether it be health or time freedom, financial freedom, whatever it might be. It's an industry where you can have it all if you put in the effort and just don't quit. And so I had some really, really good 
conversations about that and I had positive feedback the whole weekend and it's because we part of Dave Joyce Jordan is instilled in us and we're sharing their story through us and it's amazing so that's it's my passion yeah I actually read uh, actually it was a training this morning that we had and we do have awesome leaders um, in Valentis uh, besides our take control team uh, leadership that uh, teach us so many things and this morning I was listening to uh, Randall McDonald training. He's from Calgary. And, you know, one thing that he said was, um, this uh, opportunity can never fail you. The only thing that can fail you is if you quit. And I think that's one of the biggest things that I've learned this last two years is um, you're going to, if you quit on yourself, it doesn't matter whether it's Valentis or anything that you're trying to accomplish in life, um, you will fail. And so I love that we are able to um, spread our wings as leaders here now with Valentis and help people even with their mindset. And I know Neil and I had the uh, privilege of actually standing in, on stage in Calgary and doing a team training on that exact, um, uh, that exact topic is mindset. So my next and final question for you, Neil, um, is what do you see in your future with Valentis? And I'm going to say just, you know, for me, I loved being on stage with you and I love being able to help and train people and realize that there is a better way. And um, so I know for me, my future is bright uh, with helping people uh, with Valentis more than just with products, with, with the whole um, mind and body. So what do you see as your future with Valentis? And with just in the leadership of the Take Control team? I, I see great things happening uh, with Valentis. Um, and, you know, one thing I'll say is we, yes, we're leaders of this. You know, we're, we're leaders in Valentis uh, as diamonds. There are so many leaders coming up. And it just be all in. Um, you know, we're humble. We love to share our story. And I think that, you know, the passion sh comes through and I, you know, we don't script anything. I don't write what I'm going to say down. It just comes from my heart and that's the passion coming through. And, and I see Volantis as being an absolutely huge company, you know, in, we're in five to seven years, I can't even imagine where we're going to be. Um, but we're just going to take it a day at a time. You know, you can't get frustrated because, oh, my team's not building quick enough or, you know, things just aren't happening quick enough or this person quit or that, that person quit. Just be you. Just be yourself and share this opportunity with people. Be passionate about this opportunity. And it, it can only go one direction if you show the passion and be all in. Love your products. Um, Love what this is doing to you, to me. I absolutely love what this has done to me because my whole working life has been hiding under a welding helmet and I don't talk to anybody except my supervisor at the time. Now I am the supervisor and, and I'll just add to that because I'm a supervisor of a crew in there and the personal development that I've learned through this network marketing, they see it. I treat my people like a person and not like a number. And so we're going places in this company and we are going to help a lot of people. And if, you know, just imagine if everybody had a positive mindset all the time, what kind of a world would we be living in? You know, yeah. Look at the Valentis family globally. It's unbelievable. No, that's absolutely true. And you know, the last part I really want to share with everybody, if you look behind me, um, you'll see this picture. That is uh, the homestead that um, our grandfather came over from England in 1902, Neil, I think, um, somewhere in that area. And that's the farm that we grew up on. And, you know, it's about leaving a legacy. And, I, I, you know, we don't have that farm to go to anymore, but we sure have pictures to look at. But I think that's one thing that I could say with the future of Valentis is we're here to leave, leave a legacy of leaders that really do truly care and want to help everybody with their um, time freedom, their health and their financial freedom. And the order of that uh, definitely is in the wrong order for most people. 
they get into the money and then they they're working so hard because they got to make that money that they lose their time and because they're working so hard and they have no time they they sacrifice their health so i'm just going to let you say the final uh words on that little piece neil and then we'll enter uh, we'll end our interview tonight or today actually sorry not tonight um so if you want to just say final words i will let you uh end this interview okay thanks gav um so yeah in a nutshell um you know if you're uh, an independent representative with Valentis and you're out there and you're, you know, you all of a sudden you're just not, whatever it might be, the products aren't working for you, whatever. It's like John Haremza says in his uh, one uh, CD that he's got, uh, got questions. It's like, you may not like, or whatever it might be, a McDonald's Big Mac, but that doesn't mean that everybody doesn't like the Big Macs, right? So, even though you may not like the product or whatever it might be, you're not seeing results, that doesn't mean somebody else isn't going to. So don't get down. Uh, just keep moving forward. Just do what we do best. And um, I kind of lost what I was going to say. Oh, I know what it was. Last week, the beauty of this industry is last week, I was in my fifth wheel trailer. That was my office. Today, I'm actually sitting in my truck with a sun hat on and, and a nice light shirt. And because I can choose to pick my office wherever I am, my motorcycle, um, it's an open industry. You can have your office anywhere you want. Uh, I don't have to go to my welding shop five days a week. I can choose this anywhere I want. So the opportunities there, um, unbelievable. Love where we're at. Tammy and I are all in. And uh, we're here to help anyone get to where we want to be. And when you say a legacy, absolutely. Uh, you know, I have a grandson now. And we've got kids that I want to leave a legacy behind for them so that we can carry this on for a long, long time. Awesome. And with that, everybody, thanks for your time. Great. Thanks, Neil. Uh, so episode two, Uncovering Another Leader of the Lentis Take Control Team. Uh, Mr. Neil King, uh, Diamond with Valentis. Thanks, Neil. Thanks.